Good afternoon, guys. It's story time at Bailey Preschool. The title of our story today is called, What Will I Do If I Can't Tie My Shoe? Some of you may have that problem, so this book will be very helpful to you. There are also lots of videos on YouTube on learning to tie your shoes, so if you're having trouble, ask your caretaker, your mom, or your dad, whoever takes care of you, to let you look at some YouTube videos on how to tie your shoe. So this is the front cover of our book. And the author of this book is Heidi Kilgris. That means that she wrote all of the words in this book. And the illustrator is Dana Regan. That means Dana drew all the beautiful pictures. Let's see if this book has a title page. It does. Here's our title again. What will I do if I can't tie my shoe? This is the title page. All right, let's begin our story. My lace has come loose. My shoe is untied. I can't tie my lace. Oh no, he used the word can't. I've tried and I've tried. Buckles are easy, zippers are too. I can button my buttons, but I can't tie my shoe. Hmm. I can slip on my slippers faster than fast. My sneakers with Velcro go on in a flash. But here I am, stuck with my shoelace untied. I can't run, I can't jump, and I can't go outside. If my lace is undone, I can't play. It's no fun. Hey, big brother, will you show me how it's done? First, cross both ends. Slip one over, under, and through. Now, pull them tight. Then, here's what you do. Next, make a bunny ear. and then make another. Wrap one around. Pull it through. You try, little brother. I try and try. I think I can do it. Look, it's a bow. There was nothing to it. I did it. I did it. I tied my own shoe and this to the list of the things I can do. Now I'm practically flying. I can race, twirl, and skip. With my shoelaces tied, I probably won't trip. Oops. <laughs> the end. I hope that you enjoyed our story called What Will I Do If I Can't Tie My Shoe? I want you to think about the main character. The main character was the little boy who was having trouble and he couldn't tie his shoe. Guess what he did in the story? Something very important. When he couldn't do something all by himself, do you know what he did? He asked for help. 
He said, "Hey, big brother, will you show me how it's done?" And so, if there is something that you don't know how to do, it's okay. Just ask someone to show you, and then you can do it too. All right, come back for our next story time. You're gonna love our next story.